are not good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. <laughs> oh man, just barely in time. A little bit late. All right. So you have got no introduction, to anything so far. This is gonna have to wait, I guess. Players' forces are under attack. Because we don't want to miss anything from this game. We are here, of course, in the WCA qualifier, like we have been showing you the last three days, I think. And today we're continuing with Group B, I believe it is. I'm going to sh be showing you the grid after the game, but not right now, because the game has already started. ZDR versus Infi. ZDR, who was surprisingly able to take two maps of Infi in the qualifier before, he won 2-0 against the big favorite here, Infi. And Infi, this game, he's going for a... For a fast expansion against Orc, as human, only level two. We haven't seen that in forever. And I think for good reason, because usually the Orcs can apply so much pressure. I don't know if it was a one borrow tech. A May have been a two borrow tech. Blade Master will get his, get his level two. He has lots of heal cells. He has gloves and the circlet already. Alright, expansion is up now. Two grunts here. That's not the most. Maybe he will be wanting to wait for the uh, third grunt. As the Blade Master keeps on creeping up, but this doesn't seem to be too effective. Grunts are trying to keep Infi busy here. Trying to force the Archmage to stay around at his expo rather than harass. But that's working fine for him. And if he's lucky, he's gonna get a Wand of Lightning Shield like back in the day. And then Grunt's Lightning Shields, are we gonna see it? Archmage is a little bit too late! What is it? Oh, it's the Lightning Shield! Holy crap! Does he know how to use it well? Oh man, this could be a massacre! Oh ho ho! I haven't seen this in forever. Alright, if you guys are new to Warcraft, you may not have seen this yet. But back in the day, Lightning Shield harass against Footman and Militia was all the rage! And here we go! Oh, very fortunate drop for ZDR and certainly not for Infi. He's just standing here in the peasant line. This costs so much hit points. We hear the first peasant dying. Unfortunately, these grunts have already taken quite a bit of damage. Late master is healing up. Alright, this was not as effective. Would have been way better if these two grunts had been to full health and could be participating in this. But of course, they were trying to keep Infi busy, trying to secure the creep camp for ZDR. Archmage still only level 2, Water Elemental will be finally available again now. Tech wise, it's already started for Infi despite seeing the Lightning Shield and here it finished already for the Orc. Where's the second Lightning Shield? Come on, these are four grunts, these should be able to do a lot of damage. Bro, what are you doing? Use that damn Lightning Shield, it's very strong, I promise you. He doesn't want to engage, I don't get it, why does he like engage and walk away again. He has a speed scroll as well, so he could just full on engage, wait until everything's low and then retreat. There's only a single guard tower here, he could totally commit to this base. Ah, oh, ZDR playing this way too passively I feel. A player's forces are under attack. Alright. Next attempt. Here we go. Lightning shield. But now this is already being walled off. Infi doing a good job and uh, seeing what this situation that is troublesome for him and how he has to adjust. Gets a little bit more damage done. Lightning shield still. Oh, look at the value on the lightning shield. So much damage! But finally the grunt will die. Level 2 for the Archmage. Gets the Brilliance Aura finally. Guard Tower here as well. As we saw, there is a Lumber Mill in the main base. And Shadow Hunter now coming second with lots of items. But these grunts kind of missed their timing. A player's forces are under attack. And ZDR may have been able to do quite a bit of damage. He's level 3 now, but it's not the most. But with his level 3 blade, with the SH coming in, he has a lot of map control right now. So maybe he can try to uh, steal some creep camps. Infi desperately lacking experience, as we can see. But tier 2, close to completion. And then, we might be rolling into kind of a tier 2 70 supply push like we're used to seeing against Night Elf. A 
At least he keeps the human busy. Keeps him on his side of the map. And he has a lot of space here. What does he go for? Walkers and raiders? Yep. That's of course what you're used to seeing in every single matchup, basically, from the orcs. Well, the Archmage doesn't have boots, by the way. He's in trouble. If the Blade Master wants to uh, apply some pressure, he has been revealed. But Archmage cannot really move out anywhere. Do we see the MK? Yes, we do. One Arcane Sanctum, two. More uh, workshop as well. Three Arcane Sanctums. Alright. And here comes the expansion. Don't know if he's gonna have the time. Probably Infu will be looking to strike before the expo comes up. Or before it, uh, you know. Before it becomes valuable. Before it uh, gives you some profit. Archmage slowly making his way to level 3. Taking forever this game. But is he gonna be able to get it with this camp? Maybe, I'm not sure. SH creeping up and creeping up. We'll be level 3 soon. That will be key in the defense that is sure to come against the incoming waves of attack from Infi. Blade Master by the peasants. That's a good move. He has a staff as well. He has Spirit Link here, so he's very tanky. I like this by ZDR. That is a good decision. Forcing more defenses here. These are resources that uh, Infi does not want to be spending at his expansion. MK coming in now. Blade Master has to be a little bit afraid of the surround, but there's nothing here that can really keep the surround closed. Blade Master just way too tanky. If the Archmage getting another creep camp, and honestly, this should not have been allowed. This should have been prevented by the SH. He's going over to get the Murlocs now instead, and he's going to be facing some aggression in his main base. Which is fairly unprotected. He will have to go back. He, of course, doesn't have a TP. Speed score, however, is available. And this is a good move by Infi. Finds level 3. Found an item. I don't know which one. Which he sold right away. And now Staff is coming in. And this might be enough with these two units. Spirit Link should be used. Now, finally, on half HP. ZDR again making a lot of mistakes, I am sad to say. Raider has been killed, and now the Archmage staffing towards the expansion. Oh, can he cancel this? I don't think so. It might be too late, but it takes forever. Look at this. Org Expo takes, I think, more than two minutes. Something like that. Takes forever, and yeah. Oh, it's going to be close. Are peons coming for the repair? They have speed scroll. Come on, little buddies. A player's forces are under attack. Doesn't really look like it. They're staying in the main. Now four are coming down, but this is everything a little bit too slow by ZDR. Raiders now here as well. And the Expo will survive. Expo will come up, but it's very damaged. Only about 250 HP remaining. SH has found level 3 in the meantime. And the Blade Master will be able to pick off the retreating footman. 50 supply now for Infi. Triple Arcane Sanctums up. And this is truly gonna be a mass caster strategy. And ZDR has to know an attack is coming. He has to get some resources here, get some more production, and pump out those units as quick as he can. Because Infi is not going to be waiting for a long time to go into up queue, as you can see here, already at 59. And starting to creep up his uh, Mountain King as well. Has double scroll of healing already. Importantly, also taking it away from the Orc. Who's going to want to get some here as well, but nothing is available. Nothing at the moment, but if he waits a little, he gets the scroll and the invul. He really has to producing. He has to pr start producing like yesterday. Come on, bro. Where's your production? He bought the items here from the shop, but he needs more. He needs way more, because here is the push. Holy crap, so fast. We were just uh, seeing him be at 59, and now he's at 74 already. And he's moving across the map. This looks almost, as I said before, as the game against Night Elf, but here he opts to go without workshop, without mortar teams. Instead, triple arcane sanctum. 74 supply, Jesus Christ, the orcs hitting at a paltry 57. SH, what did he find? Can he maybe carry this? Uh, boot to speed, that's not what he wants. 
Footman at the same time going in towards the main to harass here most likely. That's a neat little move. And the shop will be cancelled as well. This is all a little too little too late, I feel. A player's forces are under attack. But he maybe can muster a miraculous defense here. Spurling being stolen right away from the breakers. Blade Master in front, taking a lot of damage. Only level one bolt. Blade Master has no Spirit Link. Heal pot, however. Invol also still available, has to use it now. Keeps him alive without the invol, but the stun is long enough. Stun, focus fire, and no Spirit Link. Spirit Link being applied too late there. May have been stolen, may have been forgotten. CDR loses the first hero. Kodo Beast here on the battlefield, but not that much supply. That's the big issue. Also, towers coming up in the back here. For Infi, who's still sitting pretty at 77 supply, he might be suffering a few losses, but without the Blade Master in this fight, he has to not really be fearing that much damage. And Raider after Raider will be falling. And the numbers are just what decide the game here. The expansion was way too easy for Infi. Of course, the expansion first isn't really in the meta game anymore, so maybe ZDR doesn't want know how to properly deal with it. But usually, with the lightning shield, he should have had a great possibility to, you know, deal a lot of damage to that expo. Probably should have used both lightning shields at the same time, but he was a little too afraid, a little too, little too hesitant. And yeah, this is the check he receives, the bill he has to pay now for his negligence. Expo has to be abandoned, will be killed, will be gone, and probably a new one for Infi, and let's be honest here, this game's over. This is the 1-0 for Infi, question is when does ZDR tap out? MK getting almost two levels from this fight. He has a lot of uh, nice combat items in his inventory here. Is he gonna be running towards the main or does he take it slow and expand here himself? Has all the options to uh, available to himself. ZR man, he lost no wait, did he win? No, he lost against TH. But he won against Colorful. So if he wins this best of three, he's in a good position to be making it to the playoffs. If he loses this, however, it's uh not very, not looking too good for him. SH5 though, usually this is the miracle worker. Keeping the Blade Master alive forever. But with 50 supply against 80 supply, that is very tough to do. Invisible Priest was scouting the approaching attack, also using Dispel against the Spirit Link. Nice little move there, we rarely see in Orc versus Human. We'll give his life for this. And ZDR is forced back again. And here comes expansion number two. Infi sees no need to finish this game quickly. Oh, Blade Master again, eating a lot of damage, but the heal wave, level 3, powerful ability. Keeps the blade alive, speed scroll, there we go, run away. Not quick enough on the dispel of the priests. That's very hard to do though. The spell has a pretty long cast animation and priests are always far away, usually not in range. So if you pull that off, you're really a ghost, which Infi actually is. Maybe we're gonna see that later on. But there's no speed scrolls anymore. 60 supply for ZDR. He hopes he can somehow break through this, defeat the army, defeat the towers, defeat the expansion, but that is a lot to ask. 80 supply now for Infi. What's he going for behind this? Breaker upgrades. No tier 3 or anything like this.
And DDR seems to still not be in the shape he was for qualifier number one, where he made it all the way to the grand final and almost taking out 120 in said grand final. But this time around, I'm not so sure. Oh, Spike's coming out here as the fight starts once again. Spirit Link ma uh, missing everywhere, but at this point it's probably too many breakers. There we can see it, Spirit Link being casted once, stolen immediately. Usually you want to get rid of the breakers, then apply the Spirit Link. But this is just too much stuff, man. Blade Master being bolted, not even level 4. His damage output is fairly insignificant. Crits for 76. That That's weak sauce, bro. That's weak sauce. Alright, 1 out of 10, that's a little bit better, but might not be good enough as he falls for the second time. And GG. Alright, fast expansion by Infi into an easy game. ZDR did not know how to properly deal with that at all. Alright, so I can work a little bit more on my uh, overlay stuff here. <laughs> because, uh, again, I had to cobble this all together fairly quickly. Alright, what's the last match of today? Oh, by the way, it starts at 11. So we're gonna have a bit of a break later on. Uh, the last match is gonna be Romantic versus Fanta. Okay. All right. So Infi leading 1-0. Even though Infi was defeated by ZDR in qualifier number one, Infi is still the big favorite. Because especially uh, Infi seems to be playing pretty damn well again, and ZDR honestly not looking too great at all. Unfortunately, I would have loved to see him continue his strong performance, but um, not co not at the moment. All right, so so we gotta adjust a lot of stuff here. Um, I guess before we. Uh, anything else I show you guys the grid for an overview there we go so we are currently in group A actually not in group B and we can see everyone is standing one to one with actually colorful of all players having the best map score isn't that freaking weird <laughs> definitely would not have, not have thought that but yeah, ZDR now down against Infi. If Infi wins this, he has two wins and one loss in terms of series, and that of course puts him in a good position. After that, we're gonna have TH versus Colorful, and this will be determining the second winner. So actually, whoever wins here, ZDR or Infi, gets through, and then Colorful versus uh, TH, the winner of that will be uh, advancing as well. And of course, the big favorites here are Infi versus TH, again, especially considering how weak CDR has been looking these last couple of days. And then we're gonna have Romantic vs Fanta as our final match, but uh, before that it's gonna be Yumi vs Fly, maybe the most interesting match of today. Okay, uh, here we go, map number two. Gonna be Last Refuge, probably a lot harder to fast expand on, but usually it doesn't work at all in any case in this matchup anymore, but Infi made it work. Did they change colors? They did. Sneaky little bastards. Uh, okay. Alright, I think now we're good. Excellent. So. By the way, how are you guys doing? I didn't have any ch uh, time at all to look at chat, unfortunately. Everything a little bit hectic today. I g hope you guys are doing fine. <clears throat> I hope it's not as early for you as it is for me. I uh, had a very tough time getting up tomorrow. Three times the snooze button was the recipe to finally getting up. But yeah, uh, I was watching some BODs yesterday of the Dota Major pretty cool tournament man I like Dota as well of course it's no Warcraft but it's still pretty cool and I couldn't sleep for the longest time man uh, and then I fell asleep at like five at five at night uh, four I mean four 
in the morning, I guess, is what you call it, four in the morning. And then Neo told me uh, shortly before the stream that he was going to be sick, unfortunately. And then I had to struggle to get everything, everything ready. I was uh, uh, googling YouTube tutorials for how to install thir certain things on on OBS <laughs> and I still had the toothbrush in my mouth my hair was still wet so yeah everything a little bit hectic but fortunately we just barely managed to get everything rolling in time and yeah I guess I shouldn't be telling you about my silly little struggles here it's about Warcraft anyways and yeah we are here to show it today we are now I think six days straight of early cast for Warcraft. Tomorrow is gonna be the seventh and final day where we will be playing out the playoffs because today we do find out who makes it to the playoffs. Alright, early stages of this matchup always the same. Archmage wants to get to level 3 as quickly as possible. The Blademaster wants to keep the Archmage from said level 3 as much as he can and if he is able to do so get a lot of experience himself. Investing heavily into the displayed early game, man, double circlet, this should delay his tech, double circlet and two borrow tech. Holy crap. So this is a very good strategy against an expansion, making him very strong in the early game, but this certainly does not look like an expansion. Look at the quick tech from Infi, extremely fast. AM getting to level 2, maybe here, where the footman, one here, one there, one there, spread all across the map. The peasants, the militia might be able to creep uh, this green camp here, but that's uh, a little bit far away. He doesn't have that many militia, might be wanting to save them, otherwise he will be very low on lumber. And the tech finally starts, but oh, Please look at the comparison, oh boy, if Infi manages to get to level 3 and gets the Beastmaster. This harassment is gonna be so nasty and the block coming out against the Grunt. He's definitely gonna be falling. Is he gonna be able to deny himself to the creeps? Oh, nicely juking and jiving, but will die in the end. Or will he? Yes, he will. Level 2 for the Blade Master. Finally the Claws of Attack. Alright, this guy has to be the carry. Three great items already. Is he want to, Does he want to invest into uh, Boots of Speed as well? That will be so much gold going towards the Blade Master. But alright, so the most important thing has been accomplished by him. He keeps the Archmage down. Still, not even level 2. Now he's going to be able to find this experience with only two militia here. Again, there's not many uh, lumber workers at home, so needs to be careful with how he uses those militia. Creeps the next ogre. It's going to be finding a nice item here. If he's lucky, Greater Invul would be the dream. I know what it is. And there we go. Boom! Finally level 2 for the Archmage. This means a new water elemental. There's no boros here in construction currently. And I don't know what he found, but he sold it, got the boots of speed instead. So yeah, this blade master, he's pretty much all in on the blade. Block could be coming out too slow. That could have been a forced town portal. And here comes the Beastmaster I was mentioning. And oh, I got a feeling this Borrow is gonna be delayed a lot. Archmage draws the Grunts away, ZDR being played around with here as the Beastmaster approaches from the east. The Red Army is coming in and the Grunts are not home to defend their base and this borough will most certainly be cancelled. In the main base we see double arcane sanctum coming up, no surprise there. We have the lumber mill in place already for a tower rush. And now he can't really set up the tier 2 buildings or the SH, he's... oh god. He's supply stuck for the SH, he doesn't really have the resources quite yet for both the tier 2 facilities. And if he sets them up they're just gonna get cancelled. Oh boy. This is looking like a tough game, but he finds a nice surround here. Alright, could this de be the beginning of a decent mid-game? He gets the last hit with the Burrow. Oh, that is very unfortunate. Blade Master would have loved that experience. 100 XP would be getting him very close to level 3. But the Burrows steal the last hits. Alright, Burrow coming up way in the back here. Where are the tier 2 buildings? There's one here. 
and a war mill, but no shadow hunter. Super supply blocked. Creeping the rest of that little camp here is Infi. Do we have a shop coming as well? Who could you could certainly use it with all these hurt footmen. But he's also very scrapped for resources at the moment. Wants to get those casters out. They have priority over the shop. Going for the priests, interestingly, first instead of the sorceresses. So he's got four priests before. Oh no, wait. He got three priests before the first sorceress. Makes sense, I guess. Everything is hurt. He doesn't want to invest into the shop. Blade Master keeps on creeping. What is this? Needs to be like Boots of Quelthalas or something. It's not though. Something else. Oh, Scourge Bone Chimes, of course, is the dream, as we all know. But probably not since he's not picking it up immediately. And it is the flute! Yep, that's pretty much worthless. I'm surprised at how patient Infi is being. I would have almost suspected him to run across the map immediately, but no. He creeps this little camp, finishes it, he finishes this camp. But now he seems to finally be wanting his, wanting his way. Jesus Christ, it's early in the morning. He makes his way over. And this might be the final attack. Is the Orc going to be looking for a counter-attack? No, he's not. Berserker and a lot of grunts. And finally, the SH. Towers come up way in the back. No ivories. This gives CDR quite a bit of time. I have the Chinese client because I'm live in the games and for that you need the Chinese client. That is why everything is in Chinese. Alright, Blade Master, he is the carry. He needs to win this game. But the thing is, there's no end snare here, so killing anything might be difficult unless you get a surround, of course. Not quite a surround, but Speed Scroll should be able to get the Beast Master in the end. So he's gonna fall again, but he spent his mana. Oh, but here comes the slow, nicely microing that one sorceress forward to keep the beastie alive. The reveal coming out as well and heal towards the beast master, but in the end, it is enough! Because he transfers the invul. Man! Infi playing really well today. And ZDR, unfortunately, I cannot say the same about him. He finally gets the beast master, but he invested a ton. I think that it was three windwalks, maybe four. That is definitely worth it as it's only a level 1 hero who spent most of his mana. I guess the invul has been used in this as well, but yeah, that's definitely worth it. Alright, two towers are here. If there's not defend yet, I think there's. it's coming right now. There we go. Seeing those two towers, he needs defend it definitely. But then he should be able to enter. Archmage also, not level 3. That's a big thing as well. Gets one footman. Maybe two. And the Blade Master is close to level four. We need some demolishers though. He needs to be able to do something from range because without walkers, he can't really ever engage with his army into the towers. And there's still no Spirit Lodge. Finally, we have the next Borrow and demolishers should be starting. There we go. Blade Master. No, wait, that's the Beast Master. Coming back. Alright, altar is down, but the towers are so far away, they are not really threatening anything at the moment. So, ZDR has a lot of time here before the tower rush or the tower push becomes really, really dangerous. Blade Master gets maybe another kill here. No, nice invisibility, keeps the priest alive, but the footmen are very deep. I think this is the first big mistake by Infi. He's definitely overcommitting with these footmen, losing all of them. To the Blade Master and the Grunts, level 4 for the Blade. Alright, that was a definite mistake by Infi. Maybe the first one this series. The Marger comes out, but is it being uh, saved towards the back? Oh, the Blade Master, don't tell me he's gonna fall. Nope, he survives, also still has the greater healing for when things get really difficult. A lot of mana on him again, by the way. He's not healing him up though, where are the heal selves? He didn't use it, here comes the healing wave, but only level 1. Didn't go for the Hex, interestingly. Where's the Demolisher, by the way? Oh, there it is. Alright, but despite the horrible early game for ZDR, he is surprisingly well in this game, thanks in large to this man, the Master of Blades. He's getting forward slowly. 
But if there comes one, maybe two more demolishers. It's gonna be really tough to get in range with these towers. But he's he wants to stay at 50 supply. Where's the next borough? He's also forgetting about the next borough. And there's a few peons still in the boroughs, which might not be the best idea as well. Needs the lumber, needs the borough. Is that a borough? No. Oh, there's a spirit lodge way off base. These grunts are, of course, not the most useful anymore, but he doesn't want to feed them away as well. And suddenly, I think this game is looking pretty damn fine for Infi. Archmage still only level 2.5, uh, for ZDR, I mean. This Blade Master, man. This Blade Master. And now Infi tries to creep a little bit here, so ZDR does, in fact, stabilize. I thought this game was over after the early stages. But no, no, the tower rush very well defended so far and now he sees the cr units are out of position to creep and now he can easily go towards the towers and even if he loses grunts here that's fine because he doesn't want to have them in his army anymore anyways and nicely Infi focusing the raiders with his towers knows those are way more dangerous than the grunts are and actually all the towers stay alive but the peasants will not be so lucky. How did he see him? There was just towers shooting at the blade master. What the fuck? Did he use reveal? What did he find, by the way? Wand of the wind can be very useful in the right situations. And it seems like Infi is abandoning this tower push. And already ZR feeling very comfortable knows there's no threat towards his main at the moment. The towers aren't even shooting at anything. He should be rebuilding his altar though, in case one of the hero dies. Oh, Blizzard retraining! Alright, this is supposed to be the answer. So if the towers aren't in range to do any damage, at least the Archmage is gonna be. Lots of breakers now, five. So a decent blocking line for Infi. Both players, no actually, the Orc now at 60 supply. Big army advantage. But now the breakers are in high enough number so that Spirit Link cannot be really used to the fullest. Invisible Hawk scouting all the time, nice little touch there. Here's the first Kodo Beast. Adds, of course, a lot to the entire army, as we all know. SH, not far away from level 3. I feel he should have had the time to get level 3 here, but he felt pressured to defend, of course, against an Archmage with Blizzard. You don't really want to give him too much time to be harassing your peons. And with his Archmage, he's forcing the Orc to engage. I like this move, this Tome of Retraining. It's expensive, but it seems to be worth it. Infi, now with a lot of resources, I feel like he should have... Uh, gone into upkeep a little bit earlier here. Now f grunts are starting to fall, but remember this these are the units He doesn't really need to have that badly, but I guess now against the f many breakers. They are actually pretty valuable All right, Infi maybe finding a kill here on the blade mass, but he's very very tanky nice blizzard da damaging all of the orc forces and They are not positioned too well this blizzard might be finally the game changer here for Infi. It looked like this tower was easily held already, but the blizzard making all the difference. And suddenly only 47 supply remaining for the orc. He was at 60. Infi has the same amount of uh, supply, but remember he has the tower, so if a fight comes you can use those as well and more towers will be coming but very far forward they might be easily cancelled blade master and snare onto the breakers but look at this positioning so beautiful this choke for a blizzard man everything dies apart from the blade master in this little area finally level three for the sh this is about time but if he doesn't cancel these two guard towers they will be applying a lot of pressure and this is a nice recovery by infi Almost failing here with a tower attack, but seems to be finally putting on a clinic 
towards his opponent. Still only one demolisher. I think ZDR went into upkeep too late and only getting one demolisher was also a mistake. Alright, this tower will be easily cancelled and this one maybe as well. Doesn't go for it. Goes for the Beastmaster set. Now goes for it and that is too late. ZDR, man! Everything seems to be a little too slow from our Orkish brother here. The next grunt might be falling. Ah, never mind. By the way, he doesn't have the grunt upgrade. The Berserker stuff, whatever it's called. Archmage using the invul was in a kind of bad position. Oh man, this is a heavy engagement. He needs to get the Archmage killed, but here's invisibility. Where is this enchant? There it is. There's a nice dust of appearance, so he can't cast him invisible. That's a nice little move there. And this Archmage will die or have to TP. And he chooses to peep TP instead of dying. He doesn't really have the lumber to buy him back from the tavern. And needs to run over right away. ASAP. Before too many of his towers are gone. This dust of appearance may have just saved ZDR's game. One of the towers falls. Where's the spirit link? There it is. Again ZDR. A little bit slow. But he gets rid of two towers here. Alright, this is an interesting tower attack, tower push. First Infi seemed to should definitely be winning this, then ZDR turns it around, then Infi comes back again with the blizzard. Oh, and now we have high ground towers. Alright, this is a cool little move. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. Of course, extremely tough to cancel. And also very hard to attack once they are up. Wow, that's really cool. I would love to see one here as well. That, I've never seen that before. Alright, going for the Archmage again. He has one more charge of dust. Here we go. But the Archmage is kind of surrounded with his own units. Blade Master, however, can, can of course run past. Invul used again. Blizzard, oh my god, the damage! The DMGs, everybody! Jesus Christ, level 4 for the AM. Is he gonna let him die this time or TP again? If he lets him die, this might be the right call. Here comes the Hex. The decision might be made for him, but actually the blade dies first. That certainly looked like an overcommitment. Alright, so Infi takes it in the end 2-0 in two very interesting games. And ZDR unfortunately looks like he uh, keeps on making those mistakes. The performance from qualifier number one does not continue. And ZDR uh, loses here. And this means he has a 2-1 uh, match score. And that means he's out. That means ZDR is not making it to the playoffs. Infi will be in the playoffs. Question is who is going to be following him? Is it going to be Colorful or TH? And that's what we're going to be finding out with our next series. Which starts in about 15 minutes. Colorful versus TH. Colorful surprising everyone yesterday where he was able to beat TH 2-0 actually. Is he going to be able to accomplish the same as against TH? Did I say, just say TH too many times? Alright, so he won against Infi yesterday 2-0 and uh, today if he wins against TH as well that would be a big surprise and then he would also be going to the semi uh, to the playoffs of the WCA qualifier number two. Alright, but I, as I said, we have a 15 minute break here. That's pretty good for me, so f I finally have some time to eat something. And... I'm gonna try to get a countdown to work here.